Gentlemen, hey, it's the Drunken Horror Report with Brandy, yeah, whatever the fuck her name is, yeah, hey Scott, what, could you turn down the music a bit, I would do it, but I don't know how to turn down the fucking anything, I could turn things on, I just can't turn them down. Like this, tons with my legs in the air. How many nights have I laid like this? <laughs> hey, welcome to the Drunken Horror Report. I'm your host, Brandy, whatever the fuck her name is. Shut up, it's German. Okay, our first story, Lindsay Lohan. She has not let us down. Oh, wait a minute. I know some of you are saying, where is your tongue ring? You had a tongue ring last week, Brandy. Where is your tongue ring? Well, let's put it this way. Um, Wanker had some really killer coke, and I wanted it. And um, he said he would give it to me if I blew him. So I blew him, and when I came up from doing that, my tongue wasn't pierced anymore, but he had a Prince Albert. It was a bad accident. Okay, here we go. Our story number one, Lindsay Lohan. As part of her DUI sentencing, she has to go work in a morgue surrounded by dead things. So if she's lucky, maybe she'll find her career. Okay, story number two is... Oh, see that scary, scary looking broad over here? Get there. Scott, check it out. Is that not a scary looking broad? Is that like not like a chick you'd expect to wake up with after spending a night drinking at the Dizzy Weasel? Like, that's frightening. Do you know who that is? That's Amy Winehouse. That's right. And she's in trouble now because the London Mirror is like a London paper. And um, they got footage of her before she was going to court for her boyfriend, whose name is like, um, what's his name? It's up there somewhere. Hold that cue card, Larry! Okay, his name is Blake Felter Sibbles. So it must be in Sibbles Court. <laughs> So, she was going to court because she's on, like, some bad assault charges and shit. And, um, she's, like, big singer in England. And they caught her on film, um, smoking out of a glass pipe. And, um, mumbling that she'd take a six valiums before going to see him in court. Well, fuck, she has to calm down. She's going to court. What do you expect her to do? Heavy breathing? No, you tell you pop, like, six, eight Valium. That way you can sleep until they call you to testify. That's what I do. That's what Britney does, but then she forgets to go to court. But not about Britney, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Amy, Amy, yeah, she's like, um, she's nominated for like six Grammys. I'm thinking, if you don't want rock and roll people to do drugs, then don't call your awards Grammys. You know what I mean? It's like, ooh, I want to become a musician so I can get some Grammys. You know, like maybe six, eight Grammys would be good to hold me over till Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, do you know what Amy Winehouse's two hits are called? Her one hit's called Rehab, and her other one is called You Know I'm No Good. Holy shit. I thought Rehab, You Know I'm No Good, was going to either be Britney or Lindsay Lohan's autobiography titles. <laughs> Which leads us to Brittany! Yay! Brittany Spears, our favorite drunken whore who never ever fails me. Well, Brittany, um, has brought a restraining order against her boyfriend, Agnew Paparazzi. You know that guy I told you about last week? She was dating a paparazzi guy? Cause, well, those are the only guys she meets, right? You know? So, she's dating this paparazzi guy, and then she found out paparazzi guy was, um, uh, phoning magazines and telling them where she'd be. What a deal haul. Jeez, what kind of a drunken slut would hook up with a loser like 
Oh, sorry, this is a Britney Spears story. Okay, there we go. Uh, also, uh, Britney has lost all complete custody of her brains and her children. Kevin Federline gets her kids, like, all the time now, and she's not even allowed to visit them. Which is terrible for her. But a good thing for me! More time for Britney to go out and, and do crazy shit and be a drunken fucking slut so I stay on Larry's show. Yay! Because I don't want to have to blow him to stay on the show. Plus he said the last time I did it he got paper cuts all over his willy. Okay! Here we go. Um... Oh, yeah. Here's, here you go. Brittany lost custody of her children, but Paris Hilton made a statement. Paris Hilton said, It's terrible what's happening to Brittany because she's a wonderful woman and a fantastic mother. Wow. Paris Hilton coming to your defense as a person and a mother and a woman. That's kind of like Ted Bundy coming to your defense, to the defense of Jack the Ripper as a good date. Okay. And, oh, our last story. Kelly Osborne. You know Kelly Osborne. She's the girl whose dad is the Wizard of Oz or something. You know, you saw him on TV. He goes like this. He talks like this. And he sings that song, Crazy Train. Yeah, he should contact Brittany. She could be the conductor. Okay, but his daughter, um, his daughter, Kelly Osborne, came out and said on, uh, uh, on an internet interview that, um, she thinks these girls are, like, addicted to being in the press. Like, that they're doing what they can to get on the cover of Us Weekly, and that's why they're getting pregnant and arrested or going into rehab. She said, it's kind of like they're in some kind of bizarre, sick competition. Well, let me tell you something. If it's a competition, Britney's the fucking front runner. Yay! <laughs> and I'm the... Um... Most likely to come first. Okay, Duncan Horror Report over. Goodbye. I gotta go do some guy. He wants to do some double reverse cowboy. I don't know what that is, but I need chat. Alright, bye-bye.